I want my stuff. The book says that when they went before Moses, they said, Moses, I want my stuff now. I don't mean no harm, sir. I just come to get what belonged to me. I don't know about you, but I don't want your stuff. I don't want what God wants you to have. I just want my stuff. And if it belonged to me, I want my stuff. Look at somebody and say, I want my stuff. I wish I had more praises than that. God told me to tell you that this is your inheritance. It's your inheritance. Understand that you can't get an inheritance unless somebody dies. What do you mean, Pastor? Jesus died, but he rose again. And he got up with all the power in his hands. Somebody say it. And when he got up, you got up. Oh, God, help me up in here. I said, when he got up, you got up. Get up out of depression. Get up out of poverty. Get up out of lack. Oh, God, help me up in here. I say, get up from that. Get up from that. Pull on a sister and say, get up from that. Go get your stuff. Go get your children. Go get your marriage. Go get your job. Get the car, girl. Get the house. Whatever God said you're supposed to have. I want my stuff. I want my blessing. I want my miracle. I said, I want my stuff. I want everything God says I'm supposed to have because I'm entitled to it. Whether you agree or not, it belonged to me. Look at somebody and say it belonged to me. And I want my blessing. I want my miracle. Who am I talking to in here? We want our stuff. I don't want yours. But I want my stuff. I done cried too long. I waited too long. Some of you got ministry in you. And you're sitting there waiting to get some license. Go preach on the street. Well, you know, Pastor, I'm just, you know, I'm just waiting my turn. I'm just, I'm just waiting my turn. You know, I'm going to go over here to Sister Doolittle Church because they'll, they'll use me over here. God said, no, 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 no. You got the wrong spirit. See, you ain't got to go nowhere to be used nowhere because that's plenty of ministry for everybody. I don't have to relocate to be used of God. You might not appreciate my ministry, but it's a whole world that's waiting to meet me out there. There's more folk than just the folks that's in my church that needs ministry. Get your behind up. Stop sitting there waiting for somebody to discover you. It ain't gonna be no more one either buying us. We don't need no more one either buying us. God don't copy nobody. God wants you to be you. Oh, God help me. He not trying to duplicate. He just wants you to walk in who he told you to walk in. Because you're entitled to it. Am I talking good? You're entitled to your wealth. More than just certain people ought to be living large. Oh, you don't see that. Because you don't know what you're entitled to. When you're entitled to God's best, then you shouldn't settle for the rest. Yeah. Well, you know, Pastor, I've been chapter 13 and chapter 14 and chapter 7 and 8 and all the rest of them chapters. God said, I ain't got to have no chapter to bless you no more than the 66 books. Because we walk in divine favor. And it's our inheritance. The price has already been paid. Yes. Oh, God, help me up in here. Amen. You're entitled to your healing. Yes. Yes. Do you not know God still heals? Yes. Some of you got more medicine than the pharmacy. 
Because you're fully persuaded that this is God's best for you. Well, you know, you know, you got to take your medicine now. Uh, you know, you got to take your medicine. I didn't say, now, don't you leave here and not take your medicine. <laughs> but I'm saying to you, you don't have to settle. You ought to confess healing even while you're taking the pill. Because it belonged to you. You shouldn't settle for where you are right now. Because it's not God's best for you. You shouldn't settle for paying rent. If one person paid a landlord $1,000 a month, that's $12,000 a year from one person. So when you call him to spray your roaches, he don't mind coming over. Because you done paid him enough to exterminate not just your house, but the whole apartment complex. Am I talking real good? Even if you're single, your best is whatever God say you can have. It's not who you're connected with. Oh, but it's who you're connected to. I, just, I said it's who you're connected to. And if God say you can have it, you can have it. Am I talking real good? Our churches are going to be blessed. It's not the numbers. It's a lot of folk got bigger churches than us. What'd that be? Other than the fact that you got a bunch of extra headaches. I think it take more faith to run a storefront than it do when you know how many you're going to have on a Sunday. It's time for you to walk in who God say you are. Uh, possess the land. Amen. Stop being so passive. Yeah, yes, yes. Sitting waiting for somebody to give you something. Yes. Folks battle do have enough for themselves. Amen. Go get the thing. You mean you're going to settle to work on a job that you hate the rest of your life? You're going to retire on that? You're better than that. There's business opportunities that's locked in you that you've not even un untapped. There's fresh ideas that you're scared to pursue because you're scared you're going to fail. But anybody successful failed at least seven times. But you can't stop trying. I might not be able to do this business. I might not make it in Melaleuca, but I might sell Noni. If I don't make it in Noni, I'm definitely going to sell Cardio Cocktail. Are you listening to me? You got to keep trying. Don't you ever give up. Amen. Let the members leave. Go on. I ain't going to spend another night crying over nobody that don't want to be with me. You don't want me, I don't want you. That's fair. Go wherever you want to because if the door was open when you came in. We called a pastor who who wants us to pass it? Am I talking good? Amen. And you know what now in my church, when we preach, we ain't gonna beg you to do it. I can preach on fornication, you can go right back in the bed with Joseph if you want. I ain't gonna say a word to, I ain't gonna send nobody over there watching, talking about, is she going with, I don't care, that's you. Shack on. Am I talking good? Well, Pastor, you don't care about the sheep. Yes, I do, I cared enough to bring you the word of God. Folks are just flaky and unstable, and they lie on God to my God said. Don't lie if you want to leave. Just say you're ready to go. I'm walking in peace because that's my right. My family is my right. We can't give up on our families. We got to trust God with these children. Some of these children is as hard-headed they can be. So go on and run your little old course because God said you're going to be saved. It's just our right. Father, we thank you today for all that you are. We bless you and we thank you. The hand of God is with us. Thank you for our inheritance. Thank you for our blessings. Thank you for our calling. We want what you want us to have. And we receive it by faith. That we're blessed coming in and blessed going out. That we're healed, we're set free, and we're delivered. No longer will we settle for mediocrity and complacency. 
but we will rise to the occasion and lay hold of the promises of God because you came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Clap your hands and praise God. <laughs> Clap your hands and praise God. Clap your hands and praise God. <laughs>